good afternoon students so uh, in this today's class we are going to uh, discuss two of the experiments which has been left out for BTY 638 and uh, in one of that experiment which is experiment number nine we are going to discuss about immunoblotting right so immunoblotting is the term where actually you are going to understand again something is associated with antigen antibody interaction now here you are going to utilize a technique which is quite famous in biochemistry and that involvement of biochemical technique is for the separation of proteins we all know that antibodies are proteinaceous in nature so you are going to target a specific protein to which your antibody or secondary antibody could be able to bind. I'll discuss in detail in the coming slides. First, let's understand what exactly is immunoblotting. You, hope, uh, you have heard about Western blotting, right? So I'll discuss about that. So immunoblot is also known as Western blot. Uh, immunoblotting techniques are utilizing antibodies. Uh, or even if you are not using an immuno technique, uh, it is being used with certain other specific ligands in other techniques. So immuno word comes when you are using antibodies specifically. So the technique is trying to identify the target proteins in a mixture of unrelated specific proteins because there are a mixture of proteins in any of the biological sample when you take it out. So if you are targeting a specific protein, you are going to use this technique. This is just to find out a needle in a stack of dusts. Okay. Uh, so, identification of protein via antigen antibody specific reactions is what is called as immunoblotting. So, how can we differentiate here? The, in this, the proteins is adhered to the membrane. See, what happened is that you separate the protein with the help of SDS page. You have heard about SDS page, sodium dodacyl sulfate is being used as a detergent in the gel electrophoresis which is being carried out for separating that protein. Now that gel where this transfer or separation of protein takes place will be used as a template and that gel will be used to transfer the bands which appeared over there onto the blot which is actually a simple nitrocellulose membrane. So transferring process will be next step. So first you have to perform the uh, technique of SDS page. So here how will you perform this what are the tasks? First is separation as I told you in SDS page you will be separating the proteins from a mixture of proteins. Then you are transferring it to a solid support which is nitrocellulose sheet and then you are going to target the specific protein by using primary and secondary antibodies. So whatever primary and secondary antibodies you are using, it will go and bind only onto that band which is complementary to it and then you will be achieving your task. So how this procedure can be described? On day one, you are going to perform SDS page. SDS page complete pro, uh, procedure is mentioned in your lab manual. It is a very lengthy process. You have to make the gel. It is not that easy like DNA gel electrophoresis. This gel needs to be polymerized in the presence of various number of chemicals. Here you are going to use certain buffers also which are prepared at a particular pH and at a particular concentration. So that is why on one of the day you have to run only SDS page. It takes around 4 to 5 hours to run the complete gel. It will be a lengthy process. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, when your um, separation on this gel occurs, the main task is here that this separation is on the basis of size. So, what will happen? You will be observing number of bands onto that gel. That number of bands you can easily visualize after staining and destaining process. So this is another step in SDS page. That is why it is a very lengthy process. Then you keep that gel with you where the development of band takes place. Keep it in fridge, dipped in buffer. Next day, which is day two for immunodetection day. 
right so what you will be doing you have to take that gel you have to transfer it to the nitrocellulose sheet it may be um, the transfer can be of various types it can be physical it can be electrical it can be chemical if you want to uh, initiate uh, enhance the transferring process that is uh, the transfer of uh, band to the blot uh, you if you want to do it at a faster rate you should use the electroblotting and in our labs that apparatus uh, is available of electroblotting this process of electroblotting will take approximately 1 to 2 hours during this process the band will be easily transferred to the nitrocellulose sheet but you cannot be able to see that band right um, so you have to now your target is to dip that band dip that blot sorry in 10 ml of primary antibody solution because you want your antibody specific which is specific for that particular separated band it should bind over there and then after a certain given period of time you have to remove it the primary antibody solution then you have to wash the blot by immersing it in wash buffer for 3 to 5 times this is a step i am always describing in immuno techniques so washing is a very cru uh, crucial step then you have to immerse this blot in 10 ml of 1x hrp labeled antibody hrp again comes it is horse radish peroxidase you have to dip this blot in that mixture where hrp is bind together with antibody right you have to mix it again for 30 minutes you have to discard the hrp labeled antibody again washing step in wash buffer for 3 to 5 times every time you repeat it every time you throw away the wash buffer then you have to immerse the wash blot in 10 ml of the substrate solution now you are providing the substrate and you have to mix it properly with 5 to 10 minutes and at this stage you will be able to observe a colored band onto that blot uh, nitrocellulose blot when you will be observing this remove it wash it in distilled water discard it and dry it and compare your sds page gel with this developed nitrocellulose sheet membrane to aapne jo gel ka pick liya hoga sds page ka aur uska aur nitrocellulose sheet ka compare kar sakte ho uh, if this band has been transferred from sds page to that sheet and if the uh, binding of primary antibody taken place you will be observed a band onto there right so when you will be um, this is what i am expecting what is our required result on a staining with uh, this uh, uh, the with the staining solution this band will be appearing on sds page gel now it will be transferred onto the nitrocellulose sheet and after transferring on immunodetection you will be observing a single blue band on the nitrocellular membrane so this is the complete technique in pictures mode this is uh, on the first side it is sds page where the proteins will be separated this is the blotting apparatus where the transferring is being taken uh, taking place this method of transferring is physical method or mechanical method uh, however i have discussed that you can do electro blotting also in physical method it will take again more of the time um, in physical method the transfer will be through the capillary action uh, 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 and then you are uh, taking this blot you can see here is a tube here is a container where you are uh, mixing it with primary antibodies and then um, staining of that blot is being taken place in this tube you will be performing all sorts of i mean uh, your primary antibody hrp labeled antibody then your uh, substrate etc etc so every time you are washing consequently and you can see after auto radiography auto radiography is another such technique uh, which we by which we can e e able to see the um, uh, the color uh, frequency i mean kitna kitna develop hua hai uska ek range dega wo so auto radiography hamare nahi hai but yes you can easily visualize the band like this it is it is uh, shown into the end that is uh, bands which are visualized so aap abhi yahan par ye kar sakte ho that after doing sds page you can transfer it to the immuno blot or nitrocellulose sheet and once transferred when it is having that particular band where your antibody could bind you can see that okay the band has been transferred you don't need to see the amount of it is um, present over there agar amount wagaira janna hai you have to perform auto radiography auto radiography is not there in lpu right now but the experiment will be finished over there where you will be observed a band 
onto the nitrocellulose sheet. Why you will be observing the band? Because that particular band is complementary to that antibody, it means that is an antibody antigen interaction. Okay, so at the end of this, there are certain uh, glossaries. Please go through this. If you have any query, I will be available from uh, in an, at zoomed out session from 4.30 to 5. Um, by that time, thank you so much.